Black Girl Magic Volume 2, The Magical Photo Locket is an original comic book story that quickly grabs your imagination and sends you right into what the characters are up to. This story is a great way for viewers slash subscribers to learn character development, character arc, story structure, the character's superpowers and abilities, and lots more. Enjoy! Hollymead, Candace's House the four ladies took the book with them, said Candace. You said in your text that you couldn't see anything on the front cover, said Amy Hio. I'm telling you, it was totally blank, said Candace. Yet, they saw the front cover and they were able to read what was inside, said Emily Hio as she paced all around the room. Do you recall the name of the book, asked Amy. Ah, wait, it was called The Sistorian, said Candace. The Sistorian, said Emily with a confused look on her face. I got it, shouted Amy as she cheered and applauded. Please share, said Candace. It's a magical book only for sisters aka sisters, said Amy. Wait, what, said Candace. So, sisters meaning, black girls, said Emily. Yes, said Amy. Can't other girls be sisters, asked Candace. Sure, yeah, said Amy. What's your obsession with this book, asked Emily. When I held it in my hands. It felt as if something went through me, said Candace. Something magical, I'd assumed, said Amy. Wait a second, whispered Candace as she noticed out her living room window two young ladies across the street at Nonjabulo's yard sale. Who are they, asked Amy as she and Emily quickly joined Candace at the window. I think it's the two sisters the book was dedicated to, whispered Candace. The two sisters, whispered Emily. They're after the book, said Amy. Nonjabulo Brown's vacation style house slash front lawn slash yard sale. I'm new here so I don't really know names or faces, said Nonjabulo. You've been a big help, said the young lady with a sinister tone. I'm sure we'll find them, said the other young lady with a smirk on her face. Surely, said Nonjabulo as she nervously waved over towards Candace, Amy, and Emily across the street. The two young ladies evil-eyed Candace as if they already knew her. Candace's House there it is again, said Candace as she gazed at the chill bumps all over her body. They know you know something, said Amy. They caused this, said Emily. We need to warn those ladies about this book, said Amy. Correction. I need this magical book, said Candace in a dark wicked voice. Candace, said Amy as she and her sister Emily curiously gazed deep into Candace's eyes. My real name is Gordith, said Candace as she transformed into an older sorceress. What the heck is going on, asked Amy. Is this some sort of Hollymead prank, said Emily as she gazed all around the room. I'll share my story with you, yet no one would believe you if you shared it, said Gordith. Go on, said Amy. In 1996 I entered a fantasy writing contest. I won second place. The winner of the contest was Vormita. She turned her winning story i.e., The Sistorian into a top-selling book. Vormita dedicated her book to her younger sisters named Neva and No More. Because of the success of the book, a top black female critic wrote an article titled Being a Black Girl is Magical. The article features an exclusive interview with Vormita. She explains that my story called The Ferristry was the true source of inspiration for The Sistorian. I feel it is I who should have won that contest. Yet, because of failure, I ran away. It was a dark wizard who took me in. You're a witch, said Emily. I prefer the term sorceress, said Gordith as she paced around the room. Suddenly, the front living room door opened. Slowly through the front door walked Neva and no more. Oh my gosh, shouted Emily. We're not a part of this, shouted Amy. Away, said Gordith as she waved her hand towards Amy and Emily. Thus, Amy and Emily flew off across the room and into the hall closet. Did you find any trinkets at the yard sale? asked Gordith. We came for the Sistorian, said Neva. 
I can smell it on her said no more. That's because I held the Sestorian in my hands, said Gordith. Where is it? asked Neva in a dark serious voice. I don't know, said Gordith. She's lying, said no more. For ladies who attended the yard sale took it with them, said Gordith. For ladies, said Neva as she curiously gazed deep into Gordith's eyes. You could have stopped them with your sorcery, said no more. Something tells me she's not after the Sestorian, whispered Neva. True, she wouldn't be chatting with us right now, whispered no more. It is you too I'm after, shouted Gordith as she magically waved her hands in the air. Thus, the windows locked, furniture relocated across the room, the lights dimmed, and the home theater system turned on full blast. An all-out magical war began. Nonjabulo Brown's vacation styled house slash front lawn slash yard sale. Candace is watching the movie Gun Lady on her new home theater system, said Nonjabulo as she and the crowd giggled. It's one of my favorite action movies, said a teenage boy. Anything featuring Faye Ardent, I simply love, said a teenage girl. I concur, said Nonjabulo. Candace's house. Gordith quickly transformed back into her Candace disguise as she opened the front living room door. Sorry for the disturbance. I got a tad bit carried away with my new home theater system, shouted Candace as she nicely picked up the small delivery box left on the front porch. The note attached to the box read. Enjoy these biscuits and jam. From the dark wizard, Mullen Future. How lovely, said Candace as she nicely strolled back inside her house. Candace, is everything okay, shouted Amy as she and Emily banged on the hallway closet door. Candace opened the hallway closet door with a nice smile on her face. Buttermilk biscuits and blackberry jam, anyone, said Candace as she held a fancy serving tray in her hand along with a wicked smirk. Dangling from Candace's necklace was a magical photo locket that contained two pictures of Vormita's wicked younger sisters i.e., Neva and no more. Did you enjoy Black Girl Magic Volume 2? Please like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to click the bell notification to stay up to date with this channel. Black Girl Magic, Volume 3. Coming soon. Thanks for watching.